Hey everyone, I'm Corey from Lightspeed, and we're going to be looking at blogs in Lightspeed Ecom today. In order to create a new blog, as you might have guessed, we select blogs from the main menu. This will take us into a list of our actual blogs. You can see that they're split into blogs, articles that exist within those blogs, and comments that exist on those articles. First though, we need to create a new blog itself. Let's go ahead and add one. First thing we need to do is enter in a name for this blog. I'm going to go ahead and call this my new blog. Next up, we would need to fill in our SEO information, such as meta descriptions, titles, and keywords. For now, we're just going to leave this blank for the purposes of this video. Down at the bottom, we have the ability to disable comments entirely, require approval for comments before they'll be displayed publicly, or always display all comments. I'll just leave it on Disable for now. We'll go ahead and save that. Once our blog's actually been created, I'm able to come over to my articles, and this allows me to now create an actual article within that blog. So we'll go ahead and add a new article in, and give it a title. And next up, we need to select the blog. This way, you can uh, distinguish between your different blogs, whether it's industry news, store happenings, upcoming events, things like that. It allows you to keep those different elements or those different postings separate from each other and allow you to organize the content that you're publishing to your store. We'll select our only blog there and, of course, save this. This is now going to open up into some further uh, details that we can add into the article, of course. We need to put an author in. We can put a little summary line in. And of course, the actual text and main contents of the blog itself. Now from here, we can tag this blog post so that we can organize and search through those different blog posts uh, very easily and that your customers will be able to see the linkings and the similarities between certain postings. Once again, of course, we can set our SEO information for this particular article. The next thing to note is that we can upload an image to this and this will display along with the posting on your site as well as take a look at the status. Right now we can see that the status is set to concept. There's only two statuses, concept and live. Concept is a way that you can basically save it as a draft. So if, for instance, I wanted to save this article, but not have it go online yet, I'm able to keep it separate from the actual published live version of this blog on my online store. And we can either set it to be live from this screen here within the article itself, or if we need to do many at once, we can actually do it from the article screen where I'm able to check that one off and publish selected articles from here. So we'll actually go ahead and do that right now. Once we publish that, we can go ahead and take a look at the store. Once we come over, we can see my new blog is up at the top of the page here. And if I mouse over it, I can see my first post dropping down almost like it was a subcategory. By selecting it, we can see that first post that we made, and this is the start of my new blog. I can go ahead and start creating many more articles and publishing content as often as possible to try and keep my page rankings up and to inform customers about things that are happening within the industry or within our store. For more information on other topics, please check out our video library.